and L are in series, G and C are in parallel. Now we will discuss uh, what are the, these elements. Since a basic transmission line is two parallel lines separated by a distance. So these two lines are nothing but what? These are nothing but conductors. These two are conductors. So since each conductor of the line has a certain length and diameter also. This is a diameter and having some length. Therefore, since it is a conductor, it must have some resistance power. So, that is indicated by R. Since it is a conductor, it can oppose the flow of current also. So, opposition of, that is rate of change of current, that is the opposing factor is nothing but inductance. L. Since a conductor can have either resistance as well as inductance. Therefore, both R and L are in series. R is nothing but resistance or series resistance. Resistance This is a series resistance, resistance of conductors per unit length. That is, here we are defining, since a transmission line is a distributed network, so here also we are defining parameters in terms of length. So we are defining here per unit length. Unit is we know for resistance it is ohm ohm per meter or this is a symbol of ohm ohm per meter similarly L is equal to what is L? L is nothing but inductance inductance per unit length of the conductors A unit is, for inductance what is the unit? Henry. So, Henry per meter. So, this is the unit for L. Since a conductor has either resistance as well as inductance property also. That's why they are in series. We can call it as series elements. Similarly, If you observe these two lines, they are separated by a distance. Yes. Since the two wires are conductors, because we are calling these two wires as conductors. Since the wires are, or conductors are separated by a very small distance. Actually this S is very small. So they are very close to each other. So two parallel wires are separated by a distance. Therefore, there must be some capacitance between the two parallel wires because they are separated by a distance. So, capacitance C. So, we can define this C as a capacitance between the conductors. since the two conductors are separated by some distance. So, we can expect there is some capacitance between the wires. The unit for this is farad per meter, since the unit of capacitance is farads.
if you observe this the two wires are separated by some distance yes so there is some dielectric between the two wires that is the two wires are separated by a media dielectric media generally that dielectric medium is not perfect in its insulation suppose if the dielectric is not perfect in in insulation what happens generally there is a leakage that is current leaks through it therefore this leakage of current through the dielectric is represented by a element conductance because current is leaking some current is flowing so we can expect a element with some conductance value so that is indicating with g so g is nothing but shunt or leakage conductance we can call it as also as shunt conductance this is c also we can call it as shunt capacitance that's why this uh, c and g are uh, shunt elements so both of this uh, c and g are also per unit length where c is capacitance between the conductors per unit length this g also leakage conductance per unit length so the unit of this g is mo per meter or the symbol mo symbol per meter or conductance also we can indicate with the symbol siemens so siemens per meter also one more important thing is this g is not equal to 1 by r where here r is a series resistance this is a shunt conductance these two are different elements g is a shunt conductance that is a shunt element shunt conductance where r is a series resistance series resistance so this is one of the important point to remember so this g is not equal to 1 by r actually the relation between conductance and resistance is conductance is equal to 1 by resistance but here this is not correct because these two are different things so this g is a shunt one because of leakage current between the conductors whereas this is a series resistance because of the property of conductor because the wires are conductors they must have some resistance that's why this g is not equal to 1 by r here so this is one of the important point to note so now it is very clear that the basic elements of a transmission line are r l g and c so r and l are because of series conductors whereas c and g are because of the distance the two ways are separated by a distance so whereas uh, uh, c is a shunt capacitance g is a shunt conductance so these are the basic elements of a transmission line since we are considering uniform distributed line so take a single part that is one either r l g and c structure because since it is a repeating for every x distance or every unit length distance so if you analyze this single part it is valid for the entire transmission line since we are considering a distributed transmission line since r and l are in series i can write the series impedance z is equal to r plus j omega l 
This is series impedance. And uh, since G and C are in parallel, so it is uh, convenient uh, to represent it in terms of admittance. Why? So shunt admittance Y, I can write uh, G plus J omega C. So this Z is series impedance. Y is shunt admittance. It is always convenient to represent a parallel circuit in terms of admittance so that the simplification or mathematical calculation becomes easy. These R, L, G, C are called as primary constants of a transmission line. Primary constants of a transmission line. One important thing to keep in mind is generally this RLGC vary with frequency. But however, for this mathematical analysis, what we are going to do, we will assume that R and RLGC are constants. So that is the condition we are assuming for this particularly uniform distributed transmission line. One important thing here is, this is the basic, that is basic equivalent circuit of a transmission line. Now we will see at radio frequencies what happens. Radio, radio frequencies. Radio frequencies means very high frequencies. Very high frequencies. Very high frequencies. So at radio frequencies, what happens to the equivalent circuit? Z is equal to, that is series impedance is equal to R plus J omega L. If omega is very high, for at the high frequencies, what happens? The series impedance, that is the reactance part, that is this part, omega L part, the reactance of uh, series impedance becomes very high. So, obviously we can uh, neglect R comparing to J omega L because omega is very high. So, R we can neglect. So, series impedance is approximately equal to J omega L at a very high frequencies. Similarly, what happens to shunt admittance at a very high frequencies? We can neglect G value because Y is equal to G plus J omega C. For very high frequencies, the reactance part of this capacitance is very high. Not reactance, it is actually susceptance. This J omega C part is a susceptance. That is omega C part is susceptance here. So when comparing to uh, this uh, susceptance value, we can uh, neglect the conductance value that is uh, G. So Y is approximately equal to J omega C at high frequencies. That is the conclusion here is at radio frequencies or at very high frequencies we can neglect uh, resistance as well as shunt conductance. Therefore at very high frequencies or radio frequencies R is equal to G is equal to 0 approximately at a very high frequencies. Then what happens? Equivalent circuit if you keep R and G0 the only thing remains is L and C value. 
therefore the equivalent circuit becomes like this L C L C L C it's a continuation one uh, if you consider uh, in the entire length uh, L ok only L and uh, C are presents one more important uh, thing here to keep in mind is at uh, radio frequencies both R is equal to 0, G is equal to 0 the only thing remain is L and C one more thing important thing here is this line is also called as lossless line it is also called as lossless line lossless line why it is called lossless line is if you compare if you observe here only L and C are present so inductor what are the properties of inductors the inductor can store energy and after some time again it gives back the energy similarly the capacitor can store the energy after some time you can give back the energy whereas suppose if you consider this original circuit RLGC R is a R can dissipate, resistance can, uh, resistor can dissipate some energy whereas similarly conductance also dissipate some energy but uh, if you consider here radio frequencies both R and G are 0 that is the dissipating uh, elements are not present here even though L and C are present they can store energy as well as they can reproduce the energy after some time so that uh, losses may be neglected almost all 0 losses is almost all zero so that uh, we can also call it as a lossless transmission line so at radio frequencies we can consider the line as a lossless line and uh, one more thing to keep in, keep, in, keep in mind is for a lossless line r is equal to g is equal to zero this is one of the important point you have to keep in mind for a lossless line r is equal to g is equal to 0 or at high, high frequencies we can neglect R is equal to G is equal to 0 because we are neglecting R and G values at very high frequencies another thing is in order to describe the behavior of this transmission line or in order to analyze a transmission line it is always advantage if you consider two ideal cases which are generally or which are practically not possible but for analysis purpose we are considering those ideal cases what are those ideal cases is the first one is the line as a lossless line the line as a lossless line the line has a lossless line and the second one is the length of the line is infinite the length of the line is infinite so only this these are only for the purpose of analysis of the circuit only which are practically not possible so consider the transmission line as a lossless line and consider the line as having infinite in length otherwise you consider a uniformly distributed transmission line and analyze the single circuit only so it is applicable to for entire length or otherwise we can consider the length of the line as, as infinite only also so these are generally two cases or two ideal cases uh, consider for analysis of the line